So tonight, tonight, and it is night time, I'm going to be looking through some drawings, and a lot of which are in sketchbooks. I'll put, this, put these away, these pens, till I need them. Pencils stuck in the jar. You can't see them. away these pens till I need them pencils stuck in the jar you can't see that no you can just sometimes need to tidy up a little because the place gets really untidy here's a little painting that I did for the incognito um, exhibition. <clears throat> do, do, do. And I was rather happy with it. It was literally my first attempt at working on paper for a long, long time. So, uh, reasonably happy with the result there. It's tiny. I don't have to really zoom in. But just liked it. You know, it's the kind of drawing that if I if I ever can draw, it's the kind of drawing I can do. These are standard postcard size. Okay. So I'm gonna turn it around the right way. This was a head I did for the same project. I'm not gonna put the camera vertical just just to look at this. Quite like this this fella too. Um something about him. I think I used some yellow ink there and then some brown ink. It's a little bit subtle. And this was and these are these were started as two attempts and I think it sort of makes a makes a diptych there a little pair of classical heads I don't know about this line it's just a line kind of progress but I kind of liked it it reminds me of a little rainbow we were doing today for my wife's um, thing for our school she works in for the kids a little sign that she's going to hold up tomorrow and we managed to make good use of these little pens there you can see yeah these were blank pages that never did get used the nearest I could think that this was was a muffin or a cupcake and really you know a little bit of work it might it might come to something or it might not you never know for the drawing and this was a very incomplete abstract landscape again um, oil pastel it might come to something. I might work on it now. Um, but it isn't really anything yet. The one, <clears throat> one of the two or three that I put in, that I chose, um, sold and, and the lady nicely got in touch with me. And <laughs> I had to ask her to send me a picture of it because I, I, I'd done it in such a rush for this deadline that I hadn't recorded them 
even taken a picture on my phone, which is so stupid. So I, I didn't know what it was. And this, now this, this is just a, this is just like a little face or something. I did quite like the way that ink spread out there. And again, a little bit more work, and I think it might might go somewhere. And this <clears throat> is a similar thing. You know, needs a little bit more work. Actually, I might, I'd like to work on that now. Put it aside in a different pile. Here we have a little personage, a little home. Home with a, he's like a monk or something. A wild, a wild Celtic monk. I like him too. Quite like the color. This was just nothing. It was just a start of something. Again, which might be something. This really didn't work. Mm. But it might work again. Something might work there. And this, this one I wasn't sure of. My way of doing this is to start lots and lots of things and something will work. It says I've written myself a note. It's kind of a head and it says, do collage, feather. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that would work, but yes. Yes, one could have done collage on that. Such a piece, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Here's another one. Mm. Again, I think I just, just didn't, some of these I didn't work them enough. You bring something to a certain point and it might work. All right, similar to that. I like, what I really like on this is these little bits of ink spreading here. Spreading out. It's a sort of delicate, <clears throat> like bogland flora vegetation. Is another landscape? Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, that's it. That's those ones. Those are just the ones I started. I had to have those in by the 1st of February, so that's quite a long time ago. Little knowing that I would be stuck. Um, I've been through these before in one of my videos, and perhaps the less said about them, the better. And this one I did and gave up on, on camera. Again, it could have, could have worked, you know, something could have worked with it. And this one I did. Uh, at the time I thought, oh yeah, here's a face. But it wasn't really. Um, just, I feel, sometimes I feel under pressure when I'm making videos because um, you know you have to get things finished and the time sometimes it takes to to work out let alone decide if something is worth working on that time is takes longer here's some doodles from the 9th of May when we do emerge, the world will seem quite different. We should be careful about destroying what we need to survive. This was, yeah, I did this down in the living room in front of the television. And uh, Monkhan Magan uh, wrote something. And I think it was on that Abbey Theatre thing, but I'm not sure. 
and these doodles. They're really bad, but I just need to practice more. Um, oh, you're not going to see that because I can't get it in front of them. This was the 10th of May. Some really bad drawings. Um, another really bad drawing. Not finished. Like a console. Playing out, playing about with those watercolour markers. This I was a little bit happier with. A little bit happier. It was going mostly writing. I'll read you some quotes. 11th of May. Question. How many stupid doodles before I stumble across a worthwhile slash meaningful drawing theme? The answer must be as many as it takes. Uh, <clears throat> how much paper, forests in brackets, graphite ink, canvas, board, paint goes to waste trying to find that flow? Stream of consciousness, guilt. I love nature. I want to do her justice, but waste is unacceptable. As a child, as a child, now this is interesting because I, I posted about this today. Well before hallucinogenics, I loved the eroding banks of clay with fossils, which I imagined as great cliffs with my toy trucks and cars. Was it my autism? Cypress. No longer the subject dictates the style, my old motto. Now the doodle reveals the subject or something. Ars longa, vita brevis, Latin motto. Art is long, life is short. Uh, that's a kind of motto too, a recurring theme. And then I looked up this Leonardo. What would Leonardo have done? Damp stains on the wall. This is to do with some reading I was doing. Alexander Cousins in the late 18th century had a blot method for mountains. New method, composition of landscape. Number two, Aquatint, 1785 to 86. John Robert Cousins was his son. This was from that wonderful book which I've just reread in the lockdown, in the quarantine by Simon Landscape and Memory. Very old now, I mean, you know, from, I think from the 1990s. And like old books that you've read, you forget so much. It was like reading it again. So I'm now on to um, the Dutch one about the golden age, about his Dutch history through through the culture, social history, right? It says here, I'm having a relatively bad day, trying to draw, but for some reason I keep getting waylaid by my Facebook feed. It's not getting me anywhere. I also really want to start filming the next video, quarantine drawing, but somehow conviction and motivation are lacking. And one honest mark. Is one honest mark on the page enough? Question mark. And furniture for our little granite periscope. We don't have any. And it says offence against art and drawing, which it is. Kind of such a bad drawing. Outrage, it says there. Here's one. <clears throat> that I quite like for a change. Just a little something. I did. Um, again, there's two owls in it. It's not finished, but it looks promising. Um, I didn't date it, but it's not so long ago. Okay, not much to say about it. Ink and more 
watercolour marker, a little bit of a wash, nice paper, nice colours, something going on there, put it there, <clears throat> and I'm back to a few more of these that I had started, yeah, it's that way around, I had started for the <clears throat> incognito Incognito is a charitable exhibition. Um, this year a virtual online exhibition, but other years it's been um, had, had an actual exhibition in galleries. It was planned to be this year. An idea uh, thought up by a wonderful lady called Lucinda Hall. Um, to raise money for the Jack and Jill Foundation, which is a truly wonderful organisation that provides nursing care for terminally ill children in Ireland. Um, it was started by Jonathan... I'm going to say Jonathan Irvine, it wasn't... I, think, I forget it, I forget what his other name is now. Um, and it's truly brilliant. This was, yeah, there was something, something happening here too. Ink, ink drawing and ink splodges. Again, not finished. And this one. Yes, these last two are perhaps among the most promising. I don't know how I can light these better. This one, <clears throat> turn it around so I can see it. Untitled, unfinished, something happening. Nice, nice bit of color and nice bit of ink. These were done up in my studio when I'm still going there. This. I think may be finished and it's it's a man leaving the island or some kind of a strange person leaving the island all right nearly done now this was a little collage little writing here saying nothing grandiose Somehow this piece, I think, was meant to be attached, but you know, it takes it takes a while to decide where I'm going to attach things. It's a little shaving, pencil shaving, under a plastic thing, a bit of glitter. <sighs> it's lovely stuff, and the foil seal from a bottle of Bushmills, black bush. Some kind of a head in there. Yeah, it's definitely going somewhere. Right. And so to the last two of this little exploration. You have to keep trying things. Really, <clears throat> the light is pretty poor in here. On <clears throat> this side, left side, is a Franciscan in his habit. And here is some kind of 18th century dandy. There are other heads emerging. Again, it shows a bit of promise. It's going somewhere. It's not, hasn't gone anywhere. That's it. There's another one. Yeah, it's very old, that. I don't think I'll bother with it. Okay. So that's it. That's a little tour of some of my sketches of the last period. Sure, you can really see much. 
I really have to film in the daylight here. In the daytime. The days are long enough in this time of year. There is really no excuse to be doing it. So I'm just going to get back to my drawing now. Switch all this off. Okay. That's it. Oh, yeah, I thought it wasn't on there. And um, that's it, that's me. Good night and goodbye and good luck. I'll see you in the next video.